A catalytic reactor is used to produce formaldehyde from methanol. A single pass conversion of 60% is achieved in the reactor. The methanol in the reactor product is separated from the formaldehyde and hydrogen in a multiple unit process. The production rate of formaldehyde is 900 kilograms per hour. Now the first thing we do is calculate the number of kilomoles of formaldehyde formed per hour from its mass, which is 900 kilograms per hour. So we are going to have 900 kilograms CHO in one hour times one kilomole of HCHO over 30.3 kilograms of HCHO is equal to 30 kilomoles of HCHO per hour. And we can add that 30 mm -hmm. to our flow chart mm -hmm. right here. So we have 30 kilomoles of HCHO per hour going out. Now to calculate the required feed rate of methanol to the process without recycle, we need to remember that a single conversion of a process is the ratio of amount of reactant consumed in the reactor to amount of reactant fed to the reactor. So having that in mind, we can solve for the N1, which is being fed, by simply doing our percent conversion of 30 a moles of HCHO going out over N1 going in is going to be equal to 0.6, so 60%. And if we solve for N1, we will find that N1 is equal to 50 K moles of CH3OH per hour. Suppose the recovered methanol is recycled to the reactor and the single pass conversion remains 60%. Without doing any calculations, prove that you have enough information to determine the required fresh feed rate of methanol and the rates at which methanol enters and leaves the reactor. Then perform the calculations. Now that we have our flow chart, we can easily solve for N1 by doing an overall balance of carbon, an overall carbon balance. So C over for the overall is going to be equal to N1 going in, which only has one carbon, equal to 30K moles with one car carbon. So N1 is equal to 30. And now we've solved for N1. N1 is equal to 30 K moles of CH3OH per hour. And we can use this single pass conversion in order to solve for our N3. So we are going to do our 30 K moles going in over our N1 plus our N3, it's, and that is equal to 0.6, 60% con conversion. That, when we solve it, remember we already have N1, which is 30, is gonna give us our N3, which is equal to 20K moles of CH3 OH per hour. And now that we got the N1 and the N3, we can easily calculate the input rate of methanol to the reactor, which is going to be N1 plus N3 equal to 30 plus 20, 50 K moles per hour.